So a student of mine was telling me how her nine-year-old daughter tried to give a Valentine card to a boy at school. And this boy didn't want it. He rejected her. She's nine. Man, that's just awesome! Now before you think of me as some kind of heartless, misogynistic pig, hear me out. So it was Valentine last week, right? And this girl, a nine-year-old, prepared a Valentine's card for a boy she likes. Now, did she see that on television or from her parents? Did they discuss that at school? I don't know. Still, she thought, hey, I like that boy. I'm gonna make him a present. Apparently, or she minimized the possible negative outcome, or she miscalculated. Now, at my age, we already know the possible consequences of that, right? When you show your feelings, it's an open invitation to get hurt. And rejection does hurt. It hurts a lot. You see, researchers found that there's an actual partial overlap in our brain for the neural pathways dealing with physical pain and social rejection. From an evolutionary perspective, the theory goes that we are much safer in a group than alone. If we stay together, we survive. So evolution made sure we would notice, we would get the alarm signal whenever we get rejected. Hence the overlap of the neural pathways of both physical pain and social rejection. And yet, if you like someone, you have to take a chance. This guy here? Uh, you know what? He just left. Well, she's still very young, right? And maybe she didn't realize rejection was a possible outcome. And maybe she'll be more careful next time. But that's it, you know? That is exactly the very reason why childhood is so important. We get to try things out, experiment. Here, practice on your arm like this. Like this? Mm -hmm. See what works and what doesn't. We end up learning along the way what works, what we like, what we don't like and all that without the full weight of the consequences we would typically face as adults. Now the girl didn't get heartbroken nor traumatized, her mum assured me. It was more like a, like a game for her. She did like the boy and still does, so there's no harm done. Kids are amazingly resilient. We're so afraid they end up traumatized that we wish we could protect them from every possible negative experience, right? But the truth is, they need this. They need this mild exposure to discomfort in order to experience and learn how to deal with their emotions. We're going to a kissing party and none of us have ever kissed and we're scared! Rejection, hurt, frustration, humiliation, those are tough things to deal with. So it's a good thing we get acquainted with those gradually, you know? And learn to navigate these feelings. I like to see childhood as one big rehearsal for adulthood, where we get to experience a, a vanilla version of reality without the soul-crushing consequences of it. But even more important, those experiences are vital to help us develop the necessary social skills and emotional control to become a healthy and balanced individual. To me, there is absolutely nothing more heroic in life than a 15-year-old boy who risks it all, goes to a girl and declares his feeling for her. It is the emotional equivalent of the knight in his shining armor facing the terrible fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> Now, just to be clear, it's not the girl who's the dragon, right? It's the uncertainty, right? If you know she's going to kiss you, well, there's nothing to it. No heroism. But the fact that you don't know, and you might face that neural equivalent of physical pain in your guts and soul by facing her disdain, rejection, or worse, her mockery. Oh my God. Heroic, I tell you, nothing short of heroic. Now this obviously also explains the success of meeting apps like Tinder. You take away the risk of rejection pain when you only have to swipe. Hey, you see this? You see what I'm doing? Not even looking. I'm swiping yes. Yes, yes, yes. Casting a wide net. Hey, look at this. You already got a hit. You only get to experience the exciting part of the transaction. And so that little nine-year-old girl was totally awesome. Because she took that same path and faced that same dragon. <laughs> She got crushed. Okay, sure. And with her reaction, she earned my respect. There was no tantrum, no screaming, no kicking, no nothing. She took it like a champ. Okay, maybe I'm reading too much into this. Maybe it was all just a game and she never got hurt in the first place. And maybe I'm projecting my own soul-crushing rejections in her instant game. 
So don't forget to like and subscribe. We have new episodes of this vlog coming out every week. And if you want the real stuff, you go to brainacademy.com. You join our 300,000 students and start using your brain better. Brain out. Sharpen.